Almost a year ago, I made a video about OnePlus's first attempt at Google Cardboard. They used this for the launch of the OnePlus 2. Now here we are, like I said, almost a year later, and they've unveiled a new one. This is the OnePlus Loop. This is gonna be used in conjunction with OnePlus's OnePlus 3 launch coming up on June 14th, which looking at the calendar on their website is about five days from now, from the time of filming this. And so just like their previous event, they made the OnePlus Loop available completely free with $5 shipping anywhere in the world. Mine showed up yesterday afternoon, so I thought we'd take a quick look at it. So here's the box, lots of white with their little OnePlus logo at the top. There's actually a little loop that sort of, it's not holographic, it's just shiny. And because of the lighting and everything, it's kind of hard to see it. On the side, it says OnePlus Loop VR powered by Android. Ant VR. Not familiar with Ant VR. A little product sticker on the back says OnePlus Loop VR, white and black. And let's dig into it. So, inside of the package, you of course have the VR headset. You have a user manual, just giving you some info on how to use a VR headset in case you have never used one. And it does mention in here, it's suitable for devices with five to six inch displays running Android or iOS. It has a maximum 100 degree field of view, angle of view, and it can be used while you're wearing glasses, which is very nice in my case. And as it mentioned on the outside of the box, this is actually an Ant VR device, so if you would like to use this as a traditional VR device, other than the OnePlus stuff, there are some barcodes for how you can actually get the Ant VR app and view their webpage and get more information. You've also got this very nice little microfiber cloth with some Ant VR branding that looks like it's kind of embossed into the microfiber, because you can see it from both sides, kind of pressed into it. And then finally, of course, the headset itself. And there it is. And for the sake of space, they have really thoroughly tightened this down. You can just pull this to loosen it up. Keep pulling to keep loosening it and whatnot. And that's about as loose as it goes. You can probably see from being crunched down like that, having the sides pushed in, the foam has actually become quite damaged in transit. It still will get the job done, I'm sure. But that's definitely gonna have a little bit of an impact on the longevity of the product. Although I'm sure that OnePlus really just intends for you to use this for the event and then whatever else you wanna do after that is just gravy. For five bucks, you can't complain too much. You've also got the included strap, just in case you want to have it for a little bit of extra protection. And again, it stretches out just like the previous one. And it looks like you just sort of fit it in here like this and then attach it to the strap in the back. So it'll sort of fit on like that. I don't think I'm actually gonna use it. Of course, now I can't get it back off. There we go. Taking a look at it from the front, you've got your OnePlus branding. It's got a couple of marks on it, but no big deal. A couple of very big lenses in there. A little bit of padding in here for your device. A little bit of padding in here in the top and in the bottom, just again, to protect your device. It says Loop VR powered by Ant VR on the side. Same on the other side, no buttons or anything. On the inside, you've got two lenses, as well as some plastic on each lens. We'll go ahead and just peel those away. And that's about all there is to it. Now, like I said before, this is supposed to work with devices that are five to six inches in size. I've got the HTC 10 here. Let's see how it fits. Well, with a case on, it really doesn't want to go in there. And I'm immediately seeing a problem. It has all of this padding on the inside here, you can see, but it doesn't have any padding on the edges. So if your device is a little bit thicker, it's immediately gonna catch on that and scratch a little bit. So I'm gonna be a little bit careful when I'm putting my HTC 10 in there without a case on it. Make sure to shine everything up before you put it in there, of course. And let's see how this goes. All right, that's not too bad. Now that it doesn't have the case on there, it's not as thick as it was. But then you run into the obvious problem because I didn't go ahead and load something up before I put it in there. I do have to take it all the way back out, turn the screen on, load something up and get it ready to go. I think what I'll do is I'll just go into the YouTube app and try something. And actually I've got a 360 degree video on my own account. One I uploaded from the LG 360 camera, so I should be able to play that. All right, I've got it in there. I've got it ready to slide in place. Let's see how it looks. All right, initial impressions, this is not comfortable in the slightest. This is putting a lot of pressure on my nose right here. If I move it down just a little bit, it makes a slight difference, but it's still putting a lot of pressure on there with no foam to protect my nose. So the overhead strap is probably gonna be really useful for that. However, I can look around, I can see things. There's supposed to be some PD adjustments you can do to it. Looks like you can actually just move the, the lenses themselves if your PD is a little bigger. And of course, because it doesn't have a button, I can't hit anything that's on the screen. I think I'm gonna go ahead and take a second and put this strap on there, just to see if it helps my nose out any. All right, strap is in place. Well, without anything on there, how does it look? Definitely looks odd from this angle, but I've gone ahead and picked out another video to watch. Let's see how it looks. A video that's not mine, that's intended to look good in 360. So well, it doesn't look bad. The video itself looks kind of bad, but that's not the, the viewer. And I'm actually seeing a little bit of light leak around the edges of the HTC 10, 
I guess it's just not quite big enough, but I can clearly see what's going on and I can look around and sort of interact with things. So I think that'll definitely be capable enough whenever the time comes for the OnePlus VR launch. I'm just gonna say it again though, if you did happen to get your hands on one of these, this little section here in the bottom, there's no padding in there. So this hurts quite a bit. It's actually putting a lot of pressure right there on the bridge of my nose. So maybe just find yourself a little piece of foam to stick in there. As far as the event, they do have an app, like I said, OnePlus 3 VR. Right now it's five days, two hours, 45 minutes from the event. It's gonna open up and actually be a full VR store and an experience. They said something about it being in outer space, so I'm really curious to see what this is gonna be like. Now, unfortunately, I'm fairly certain, just like the last one, you're gonna be too late for this one. It was very limited quantities, but I did manage to get in on it, so I thought I would go ahead and show it to you and give you the sort of experience if you weren't able to get one of your very own. And that's actually gonna wrap it up for me for today. If I had been paying more than $5 to get my hands on this, I would probably be a little bit bothered because like I said, kind of uncomfortable and not a whole lot of configurability in terms of the eyes. But for $5 and to be a part of the event, it could definitely be a lot worse. So thanks to OnePlus for making this available. Thanks to you guys for watching. Make sure to leave a thumbs up down below if you like this video, subscribe to receive more, and we will see you again next time.